Hi, my name is Brett Johnson from Patrick Volvo Cars in Schaumburg, Illinois at 1600 East Higgins Road in Schaumburg. Welcome today to our next model clinic at Volvo and today we're going to present to you the 2022 Volvo V60 Cross Country. This is a one trim version. The uh, V60 comes in this year. The Cross Country is an all-wheel drive car with 8.2 inches of ground clearance and 22.9 cubic feet of uh, capacity storage. Uh, like all of our uh, Volvo cars, safety is the number one. Uh, this comes with uh, full LED headlights. Uh, active bending lights is one of the features on it. After the lights move actually as you turn your steering wheel to give you a clear illumination. They're in the Thor's hammer design, which is a, a Swedish tradition for us with the lights limiting up into a hammer design to uh, proudly announce our north, uh, our north, uh, where we came from. Um, Standard on the car is 18 inch alloy wheels. These you see here are the 19 inch, which is an upgrade. They have come with Pirelli all season tires. If you take a longer on the front, we do have fog lights and cornering lights. So these operate at night, obviously, when you make a right or left hand turn, illuminate around your corner so you can see before you even get there. Uh, any obstacle or anything in the way. We have auto dimming rear view mirror. We also have uh, side, uh, side mirrors that also fold in. You have a full size panoramic moon roof with a shade that goes across. Of course, in the rear, you got a rear park assist camera standard. Here's some of the space you have. If you take a look, all our Volvos still come with a spare tire. Of course, every Volvo you get comes with four years of emergency response SOS service. So if you ever do have a problem, you press a button and uh, Volvo Roadside Assistance will be right there to help you out. One of the design elements on the cross country is the, is the dual uh, integrated tailpipes. and the black decor sides. In the rear seat, you have a 60-40 split back to give you extra storage. The second row seats fold nearly flat to give you the extra room. If you take a look at the interior, you can see two digital displays. We got the 12.3 inch center display and you got the 9 inch diagonal uh, center console display. Each are reconfigurable with different design elements to make it easier to read. Uh, one of the nice benefits is that you can actually have the um, mini map from the center displayed in the center of your console. To always see where you're going. There's some standard options on this. On this, you got auto high beam headlights on it with the auto lights. You got rain sense control for the for your windshield wipers. This car comes with an advanced cruise control with adaptive cruise and pilot assist. So that's the type of cruise control that will keep you a certain distance from the car in front of you at a certain speed. You can also add the pilot assist, which will basically give you the ability. It will the car will steer in the center of the lane uh, to keep you safe at all times. center console is very, very simple to keep it easy to drive. You have on your main display your navigation, your radio, and your phone. And the bottom is car information. You have act quick access to your, your temperature controls here. So go here, access temperature. If you sync it, the whole car is the same, although everybody has, can have their own independent climate control for their comfort. Underneath here is your safety systems. These are set them, forget them. So they're hidden behind because you're not constantly touching them. There are a couple, a couple of advantages I want to point out here. One, the car does have a very fuel efficient operation with the auto start stop features. So basically if you have this engaged, when you come to a complete stop at a stoplight or a stop sign, your engine will shut off while your foot's on the brake. Once you release the brake, the engine starts right up to give you uh, uh, instant access to moving forward. 
Uh, for some people, if they don't want this operational, you can turn it off and it will stay off. It will stay whatever you choose, whether you like it on or off. But having it on stays about 8% better gas mileage in city driving. New for this year is a wireless phone charger built into the center console. So uh, Apple, Android, any of the compatible phone, as long as it's self-charging, we'll sit right here and charge it up. On this, uh, let's see. Also new this year is where they put the drive mode. So this car, oh, hold on. If you take a look at drive modes here, you actually can change the engine and transmission to work more efficiently. Economy stands for uh, economic driving, so you basically use less gas while you're going on long distances. Center is comfort, this is your everyday mode. This car is all wheel drive all the time. So you don't have to worry about anything about putting it in a special mode for inclement weather. But you do have a sport mode, dynamic, which will change the transmission and, and the engine to give a higher performance. And off-road is for dirt, gravel, or grass under 25 miles per hour to give you better purchase on non-paved surfaces. <clears throat> the car does come with a park assist. This is a system that will help you park your car. It can park a little parallel against a curb or back into a space between two cars. Uh, you drive along, the system works, you drive along the, car, the open spaces and it identifies the space that's big enough for your car and starts giving you instructions on how it's going to turn the car and fit in that space. Cross traffic alert is a, is a system that looks behind your car so when you are backing up it is putting a radar signal back here, picking up things like cars coming down the aisle behind you, also possibly kids on bikes and other obstacles. It also has, so it will tell you whether some obstacles in the way. A nice feature also is the 360 camera. So you get a view around your car to see how well you park to help you maneuver around objects on the round, ground that are very close that you couldn't see out the window. This car, uh, come, there's a couple. This car here comes with a lot of standard features. There are three optional packages you can get in the car. Uh, one optional package is called the Advanced Package. And the big options on this one are the heads-up display, the 360 camera, a 12-volt outlet in the rear, interior high-level illumination, and an advanced air quality sensor with an air cleaner. The other package is a lounge package. Now this car, any all-wheel drive Volvo will come with heated front seats. But if you get the lounge package in this car, you can get uh, extra, extra features. One is the Napa leather seats have, include ventilation. You get front and rear scuff plates. You get a four zone climate instead of just a two zone. You get four way power support in your lumbar for the front seats. You get a power passenger seat memory a tailored dashboard, power cushion extensions, and exterior, exterior side scuff plates. The third one, and probably the most popular function feature, is the climate package, and that has the headlight high pressure cleaning, the heated rear seats, and the heated steering wheel. Like I said, you get two different choice of tires. The standards are 18, and the upgrades are 19. And there's a couple extra features you can get if you want. One is a backrest massage. So this car uh, can have the option of a backrest massage seats, also, you can, this car comes with a wonderful Harman Kardon uh, stereo, but you can get an upgraded Bowers & Wilkins stereo uh, if you would like. Um, like I said, there's probably more safety systems in, the, in this car to kind of list, but I'll go over a couple of them. One's the blind spot safety system, and then every ex ex each exterior mirror, there's a uh, light that would come on to someone in your blind spot. And new for uh, this, this year, they added steer assist and cross traffic alert for automatic brake. So basically, um, with steer assist, basically if you are going towards an object in your blind spot and you still do not notice the warning and go towards it, if the sensors can see it, they will give you a little nudge to try and keep you from hitting it. Um, Obviously, front and side and current airbags with driver and knee seat, knee seat knee, knee airbag. Uh, lane departure warning with lane keeping aid. Oncoming lane mitigation. Road side information. Runoff road mitigation and runoff road protection. Um, whiplash injury protection system with the front seats. Slippery road and hazard light alert. Collision warnings and the city safety. So one of the main systems in this is the city safety system. It uses the sensor cluster up above your window here to look in front of you at all times, always measuring the speed of objects in front of you, whether they're on the road and how fast they're going and how they are relative to your car. If it notices a stopped object like an animal 
a pedestrian, a bicyclist, or a uh, car, obviously, it will warn you to brake and it will start braking for you if you do not. Um, it has rear backup braking also. And um, so almost every feature that you could get safety wise comes standard in the car. That's just the very basics of this car. It's a w wonderful wagon. The, uh, you know, if, I wish it was a little more popular in the United States because, uh, but we're just gonna be SUV nation. But for those of you who like wagons, I invite you to please come down and take a test drive. It's a, it's a, it's a great alternative to a SUV. Um, I wanna remind yourself that the, this is Brett Johnson. We're at 1600 East Higgins Road in Schaumburg. Also available at patrickcars.com. Every Thursday we have a model clinic. I invite you to attend. If you have any questions, our number here at the store is 847-605-4000. That's 847-605-4000. Please give me a call. We have a question what, do you, what do you like most about this car? So uh, if you didn't hear that, what do you like most about this car? Uh, really, I like, I like its design. It's a very sharp looking car. Uh, it has a lot of storage and if you can't there's a lot of people who can't use the height of the SUV or, or don't want the height. And this is a great alternative. You get a lot, a lot of storage and, uh, and hauling capacity out of a car that's not much bigger than our S60 sedan. Thank you very much. Well, again, once again, thank you for uh, attending this model clinic with me. And uh, please come down and see us.